Well, hello, good people and Eagle and 49er fans. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I've been working outside on a roof, so I might have a little bit more color and things. I'm a little bit poop. and am ready to go down here, cook some dinner and things. And I'm catching up with all the news that is the Dallas Cowboys. So we have uh, today was trial. Try out Tuesday. Try out Tuesday, and uh, we actually have some signings. Now, we have, um, first of all, we heard this morning the Cowboys were bringing in wide receiver, second round pick, Denzel Ward, who has been a flop. Denzel Ward, um, second round pick of the New York Jets, and the Jets, mind you, <laughs> um, he, he is part of Robert Sala's um, teams. Uh, he's had uh, 42 receptions in three years and hasn't been on a roster for two years. So uh, 20, 21, 22, and the Cowboys brought him in for a workout. And Jerry Jones immediately say, don't read anything into this. Then we heard that the Cowboys hosted former TCU quarterbacks Max Dugan. I don't know why, but when I think of Max Dugan, for some reason I think of Inspector Gadget. I don't know why. But whenever I hear his name, that's what I always think, okay? I'm just a little crazy. That's, that's it. But we actually have two signings. And you're going to like this, guys. Oh, my goodness. The Cowboys have signed a wide receiver who is averaging, wait for this. Wait for this shit here. This is going to blow your mind. Seth Williams. I think I got I, yeah, Seth Williams, who was playing for the Denver Broncos in 2021. Okay. Seth Williams, six foot three, 211 pound wide receiver, big body, big body Seth Williams. Okay. Remember the name. Remember the name. Seth Williams, who I think the last he was on the practice squad. Of um, I don't know. I think he was on Carolina's practice squad, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Um, but regardless, he's played in two games. He started one. He's had one target, in which case he got a reception. So he's one hundred percent success rate. Okay, for thirty four yards. Dude's got a 100% success rate and a 34-yard average. Unfortunately, that's the only pass that's been thrown to him. And that was in 2021. So there's that. Also, the Cowboys sign defensive end. L-U-I-J-I Villian. I, 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 the names are so hard. Okay, La La G La G La La Lu Lu G Lu G Lu G Villian. He's six foot four, two hundred fifty two pounds. Born in nineteen ninety eight, only twenty six years old. Oh my God, I'm old. I've lived his life over twice, and then some. He has had five games in his career, and to his credit. Five games, he's got four tackles combined, three solos, one assist. No, no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. That was in 2022. In his career, in his 17 games that he's played in, he has started zero. He's played in 17 games. Um, oh, he played on two teams in 23. Three teams. Three teams. He's played with Minnesota. Um, and Carolina, I'm sorry, two teams, Minnesota and Carolina. Okay. Um, he's actually got 14 combined tackles, 10 solos, three assists, and a partridge in a pear tree. The Cowboys have signed both of them to the practice squad after a workout today. They also worked out, like we said, Denzel Mim, Deontay Pettis, Cad Coda, we talked about Max Dugan, and I keep thinking of, of course, Inspector Gadget. Uh, Shaka Tooney and Carl Lawson will be, hold on, uh, will be called up to the 53-man monster uh, roster from, 53, from the, the practice squad. So Carl Lawson and, 
yeah, Carl Lawson will be called up to the 53-man roster from the Packers squad. So, there we go. That's all uh, all we got right there for you, okay? So, you're up to speed with the moves that the Cowboys have made. Um, the question I have to ask, actually, now, um, this is a real question. <sighs> Devontae Adams, Amari Cooper, um, DeAndre Hopkins. After seeing Jalen Tolbert play so well, seeing Kayvon Turpin get four catches for like 60 yards or 50 yards, do we look at this and say we're good at wide receiver or do we actually look at besides Seth Williams, besides Seth Williams, do we look for a premier wide receiver? And let's go a little further. After looking at our defensive line, Linville Joseph having, you know, Linville Joseph was the highest rated player we had uh, this past game. Um, Mozzie Smith actually having four tackles this week, and I can't wait to throw that in the face of um, uh, Dan Salio tomorrow and things. Um, do we look at it and say we're okay on defensive line knowing that we're going to be getting some other players back? Is there less a sense of urgency to add players right now? Because here's where we look at it and say, hmm, Celan Carson, um, Deron Bland, Micah Parsons, um, we should be getting back, you know, over the course of the next couple, definitely by the bye week, I would think, that all of those guys should be back. Do we look at this and say, we're good on the secondary because we're going to be getting those guys as well as having Micah Parsons come back. Or do we look at it and we still say, we do need some more players. Same thing with the offense. Now that we've seen um, Rico step up and play better and seeing like Hunter Lipke in the role and so on, um, and knowing that we have uh, Dalvin Cooks on the ready, do we look at it and say, we're good and we don't need to sign anybody? That's the real question. Anybody, okay, let me re rephrase that. Anybody of real experience, so to speak. That's the real question that I'm going to ask right now. So I don't know the answer for that. So we'll see um, how it goes. But I think that's kind of cool. All right, good people. Um, I got an idea for a shirt. I got to talk to Miss Tracy. Um, she she probably gonna be mad at me because I keep not getting the shirts and stuff out that she makes. She's like, you, you got such a sense of urgency. Oh, don't move. You got a sense of urgency, and then you don't do anything. It's like I'm running back and forth, baby. I got a whole lot of shit that's going on at one time. So forgive me. All right, people. Um, I'm gonna go cook some dinner and do some things around here at the house, and then I'll be back with you later. Peace out.